Well, since the launch of his Republican presidential campaign, the life story of Dr. Ben Carson has inspired the admiration of a big group of voters. And uh, from his climb, the, the story of it, from poverty stricken streets of Detroit to the halls of Yale University, one woman has been by his side. Candy Carson is here with her new book, A Doctor in the House My Life with Ben Carson. Candy, great to see you again. It's great to be back. So 100% of the royalties are going to go to charity, and you wrote this book to tell us what about Ben Carson that we don't already know. Well, to give a, a better perspective, a, a broader perspective of what, his, what he is like and what our life has been like. Speak to the issue. His credibility took a hit, you know, in recent months where a lot of news outlets attacked him as allegedly not being a truth teller mm -hmm. on the issue of his bio. What do you say to that? You know, being through the process now, there's edits that don't get done. There's edits in this book that didn't get done, but they're going to be corrected by the next mm -hmm. printing. So there are things that might not be quite there, quite correct, but he has addressed those issues. Do you think, is his campaign in trouble? Because the news today was that three of his high-ranking advisors, including his pan campaign manager, quit mm -hmm. uh, on Thursday last, last week. Well, you know, growing pains. If something's not quite working, because it's been working great for a long time, but there were other things that weren't quite growing at the same rate as his campaign. So restructuring took place, and they decided that they prefer to resign. Is it true that he's got as quirky a sense of humor that he tells jokes about a guy trying to date two-timing a woman named Kate and Edith? Definitely. And then he said the two women discovered he'd been two-timing them and they killed him. The moral is you can't have your Kate and Edith, too. <laughs> <laughs> he made that one up. Yep. <laughs> yep. Is this what we're going to get if we have a President Carson? <laughs> the corn is there. <laughs> the corn and the corny. <laughs> Definitely. Well, listen, I, I wish you luck with the book. I, I understand it must be very difficult to be the spouse of the candidate because it's easy to take the licks yourself. It's quite another to see your loved one take them. Yeah. So good for but you. But you know, I know that, that he's been consistent and fair, and um, he's, he's going to be a wonderful president. Great because he has.